when a woman rejects a man of vision and accept a man with television, she ends up watching the man with vision on her own husband television. Uh, this is telling you know that you don't have to judge a man by his uh, by his pocket, but you judge a man by his vision. Because where a man is going in life is more important than his present situation. Hello viewers, uh, good evening and welcome to another excited edition of the program, 30 Minutes with Stars. And we are live from our studio here in Birmingham. We, we are live in the studio here in Birmingham and if you want to be a uh, guest on the program then uh, feel free to call us on the telephone number 675-2675-11 or you visit our Facebook page Star TV, uh, Birmingham or Top Entertainment Empire on YouTube and Facebook to book a date with us on this uh, beautiful program 30 Minutes with Stars. Um, we just want to let you know that in this, uh, in this edition, we have uh, quite a of excited issues in the program and we are going to be looking in, in, into how the Kamau film industry have involved with, with time and we are going to talk uh, about Miss Kristen uh, Cameroon and still in the program, we are going to talk to you about a, a new program that will be live on our TV uh, anytime soon and uh, we are going to have the, 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 the host of that program right here with us in, in the studio. And also just to let you know that there are Kamaka Awards in its first edition just ended uh, last week. That was the 25th of, of, of August 2019, uh, where uh, 24 persons when, when were awarded with excellent awards and syndicates uh, from the Kamaka team, uh, where we have 12 for music and we had uh, 12 for movies, all in this edition of the program. If a television allows, then we are going to be having that report from Kamaka Award 2019. But if then, then we are going to give you details subsequently. But before I go, I'd like us to have this beautiful piece by Project Treat You Better. Uh, we, we are very sorry for that technical fault of for that soundtrack. Uh, I would like to request for uh, John Perford, uh, an artist from Dubai. He's a Cameroonian based in Dubai, and he just re re released his recent uh, song titled uh, "Jejo Master." If that Jejo Master is, then, then we are going to have it on the screen, and you enjoy it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. John Pepper on the beat, wanna go right now. Chua! Mm, yeah, mm, the clip. Mm, mm. Now you will submit to dance, now go fit carries, baby. Go! No be so, not so. Chua! 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 Mm, chua! Chua! For the very first time, my lady came to my room. I don't go lie, the time she entered, made my skin for gold. The way she the white hand, now they go my skin, they make my bra go home. Not be joke, I the joke, the thing where she get my key, where you the want some. If you see this baby, the way she the white hand, now my thing you want some. The way she the white hand, now they go, you go say, she be fine, fine, baby. Oh, to the whole baby. Oh, I'm gonna charge your prayer for me. To the whole baby. She be fine, fine, baby. Oh, to the whole baby. Baby, oh, to the whole baby. Oh, I'm gonna charge your pay for. Baba, to the 
go baby To be fine fine baby Oh to do oh baby Oh wanna tell your best for me To do oh baby You wait, you wait, you wait, you wait, you wait I wanna tell baby you Now you be number one too I could make it all about your man Baby, if you come I'm back and I'm going along Now you be number one baby Baby you Now you be number one too My baby If you come Now you be number one too Baby You be like sugar oh, I go drink you for my tea Baby If you come You be like my nyonzo oh, I go eat you with more mm -hmm. My baby <laughs> baby, you know that say you've been a baby uncle. Yeah, you know so. this time. You know it. Yeah. This love we want to show me, he likes the ego kill. Everyone just the one that this love we get is real. Now how I go live with the one we are getting carry my breath. You make my heart beat even when we meet. Now me and you go get kids, not forgetting a kiss. Cause you hold the keys to my heart Yeah T2 uh, 30 minutes we star and uh, we are broadcasting live like I said if you want to be guests on the program then you can get to us on the telephone number 675-2675-11 we are going to take our first guest for this edition of the program and uh, like I said she is uh, a relationship coach we, uh, she'll be handling a new pro, 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 uh, a, a new show uh, on the same TV channel and the name of that show is, is going to be Beyond Intimacy and uh, in that program we'll be talking about a relationship in the program they'll be talking they'll be telling you on how you can help you uh, uh, solve issues that concern your partner or concern your your, your marital issue and uh, she's right here with me in the studio so she'll be telling us how that program is going to be and how we are going to run that program. Good afternoon, Mervyn. Good afternoon, Mr. Cedric. How are you doing? I'm fine. Happy Sunday. Same to you. How was church today? It was, it was not too bad. Though I was nervous. Are, I was are you sure you went to church? <laughs> <laughs> are you sure? Let's not talk about it. Oh. <laughs> okay, so uh, you, you, you are here to talk to us about uh, the program you'll be starting soon? Yes, we need to talk about the program we'll be starting soon. And that is, is uh, Beyond Intimacy? Yeah. So, uh, can, can you tell us the concept of this uh, TV show? Um, we, beyond intimacy, we're going to be talking about the problems we face in relationships and possible solutions. What you must do, the little things you must do for your relationship to work, the mm -hmm. things we ignore that are making our relationship to fail. Okay. So, uh, uh, when and how do you intend to run the program? Who are your uh, audience of the program? Like, let me let me start from the fact that I'm an actress. Okay. So out there, I've I've a fan. Let me not say a lot of fan base. I've a fan base already. <laughs> uh huh. And they are my audience. Like that. That's my first audience. Okay. Okay. And then. No, maybe you didn't understand my my concept, or or, or maybe you didn't uh, understand the question. I said uh, to who who are your audience for this? Uh, why are you doing this program? You are doing, are you doing for a particular group of person? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. which group of person are you doing this program like, for? They are, I know there are young girls like me out there okay. who have tried relationships and they are heartbroken. I just want to give them the chance to know, to know, like, to discover where they went wrong, uh -huh. what they can do to amend the situations. Like, everybody, everybody can learn from it. Everybody can benefit from the project. Okay, everybody can benefit. So, um, who are your guests for this program? Who do we? Uh, what people do you uh, intend to be guests on the program? Everybody, or you have uh, some group of persons? I have some group of persons. Okay. Persons that, like, for my years of dating, people have always looked up to. People uh -huh. have always helped me in my relationships. Like, I have a group of people. Okay. Are you intended to be a guest? Yeah. So, uh, are, are they like being part of the program to talk about uh, the relationship issues, what people faced, or uh, they're, they're just there to have an open discussion with you? Or how? Um, for now, I want to do it like, like a question and answer something. Okay. So, when they call, like they can prepare their topics, they will talk on. Or okay. can actually give out topics, they will okay. talk on. But I prefer to choose their topic, which is people. Like, I want to be doing that on Saturdays. 
Okay, Saturdays. On Saturdays, where I take in cares. And then, if I'm opportune to have a show on Monday, I would like to take it myself. Okay. On Mondays, I can do it myself. Like, it's no cares. I, I, I present the topic I want to talk on alone. Okay. So, uh, we are expected to have this program on Saturday and maybe uh, a free broadcast on, on Monday or maybe a new one on Monday. A new one on Monday. Okay, like you, okay. Therefore, the program should be two times a week. Yeah. Okay, Saturday you take guests and uh, Monday you run the program alone. Yeah. Okay, um, so, um, any contact? Yeah, also contact. So, so if somebody can book if they want to be guests in the program? Yeah. Okay, maybe you give us the telephone number. 677. 2596 <laughs> Actually, <laughs> yeah, I love your hairstyle, yeah. really. Thank you. Okay, so from here, uh, why are you hoping to? F from uh, the studio where we live here, I I go for a party somewhere. Maybe I can just hook up with you. No, I'm not going for a party. But you can take me out. Yeah, <laughs> this is just around. See, Junction is populated. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I, I'm I'm so sorry that uh, I'm going to book already for today's Sunday, so <laughs> <laughs> my girlfriend can be watching and he can cause us problems. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Um. If you have uh, nothing to say again, if you have nothing to say the program, then uh, I'll be washing out with the food. I hope you don't mind. No, I don't. Mind. So what do you take from my table? Uh, cucumber. Cucumber. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming. But before you go, I'd like you to have uh, this comedy, Fish from Top 4 Comedy. <laughs> well, just watch me and see how I did. You say no one job. I thought they find it, they did find It's okay. Yeah, she said no. Okay. It's okay. It was good. See, I have some work to do. Yeah. See you. Take care. Bye bye.
to master. But the that you need to cost more than you need. That you see me how I really hungry. Oh <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, that was the roasted fish. Uh, that's bunny fish. Uh, by it was directed by Tito Pama, not uh, CK. He directed that comedy some years back. That should be about three years. Eh? <laughs> so it's not you know, it's something for today. Uh, like I said, um, uh, we were just telling you about the new program that we're running, uh, Beyond Intimacy. So um, if you if you buy your TV set, then. Don't forget that from next week Sunday, the program will be yours live. And the time is going to be communicated to you within the course of the week or within the same program. We're going to let you know the exact time this program will be running every Sunday, every Saturday, or um, on Monday on, on, on your TV screen. Uh, right here, I'm going to take the next case of our three uh, edition of the program. And he is 32 years, he's 33, 32 years old, <laughs> Cameron actor, and he's the CEO of Click Pictures. He has been in the industry for more than 10 years today. I don't want to let you know who that guy is. I believe you're going to discover yourself who he is. And you are featured in so many films like uh, uh, Butterfly that was nominated for the uh, the Africa Film Festival in the last years. That's just this year. And uh, unfortunately, the movie did not come back home with any award. And he is a holder of the Kamaka Awards in Best Actor in Cameroon for Kamaka Award 2019. He is uh, Azunu Elvis Crusader. Good afternoon, Azunu Elvis. Good afternoon, Dougal. Uh, how are you doing? I'm Okay, and you? <laughs> I'm good. I'm doing great. All right. Wow. I love your glasses. <laughs> Thank you, bro. <laughs> so what's this? Well, uh, we're here watching another town, and you know, I missed the struggle and everything. So, uh, despite insecurity in Bermuda today, how did you get yourself to the studio? Mm, well, uh, unfortunately for us all, uh, today was not that you know demanding as far as security is concerned. Okay. But uh, of course. We we managed to get here. <laughs> Definitely, I should be asking you the same question. You <laughs> know, <laughs> my that. my case is different because I'm always available. <laughs> <All right. laughs> be it how how must be. Yeah. Uh, okay, so okay, um, you, so who is who is Azuni Evis? Can you tell us more about Azuni Evis? Well, uh, like you started already, you okay. gave a brief introduction about me. Yeah. My name is Azuni Elvis, and I hail from Bambui, the northwest region of Cameroon. Okay. I'm a teacher and I'm a filmmaker, like you rightly said, I've been in this thing for over 10 years now. Wow. And uh, I've produced two films already. The very first one was in 2012, titled Incubus. In Cubus. In Limbe, in Limbe actually. Oh, okay. But it's really, it really did not stand the test of time, even though I spent so much money. And oh. I came so, back. I came back sorry into, about that. No, it's okay. That's part of the struggle. <laughs> sure. So I came back into filmmaking or producing, not filmmaking. I came back into producing uh, this year where I created uh, clear pictures and I produced the very first movie, Consort. Consort. Okay, so you, you are a teacher. Yeah. So why do you choose filmmaking uh, alongside t teaching? Well, good thing you said I'm a teacher and of course I'm a teacher and you agree with me that the movie industry is still at its uh, primary stage and... What do you teach? Are you a teacher for uh, performing arts? Economics. Economics. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so, like you were saying... Uh, yes, the industry is still at, at its, at its um, uh, primary stage. Okay. And you agree with me that there are so many people out there who want to join filmmaking in one way or the other. And thank God again, the Ministry of um, Secondary Education has incorporated uh, art and cinematography uh -huh. in the high school. So sure. <laughs> you see, I'll be teaching <laughs> economics and also teaching filmmaking. Oh, you'll be teaching filmmaking? Definitely. Oh. That's, <laughs> that's the new program in the curriculum this year. And you're one of those uh, guys to be teaching you? Maybe yes, one definitely. of the first yeah, teachers. I've for it already. The list is out and I've been selected to be one of the teachers. So. Wow, that's good news for you already. Yeah, good news for the whole industry, my brother. For sure. <laughs> so, why the name Crusader? Well, can I when I heard the name, it's you like you know. many persons was asked me yesterday on Facebook that uh, this Christina of a guy is a pastor. So I was like, oh, why? What, what, you see, as new Evis, and you're saying uh, he's a pastor. 
the guy said no from the name crusader so it's like the crusader is a kind of crusade or so what the name crusader well the guy who's who asked if i'm a pastor is actually close to the point you know because m most people always think that crusader is kind of a name a very vicious name you yeah know? yeah <laughs> but it's a very holy name if i should say it that way <laughs> and i had that name in 2006 when i got to the university of boya okay and uh, I'll kind of say I was addicted to a certain filmmaker. Not really addicted. I really loved his film so much, Hank Anuko. And when when he he did a certain movie back then titled Crusader, and mm -hmm. from no from nowhere my my friends started calling me that he did. Actually, I even had to change my name on Facebook and on social media to my real name because Crusader was taking over the whole place. You know. Wow. So. And you find it okay for you? No, it not. Well, it's re it's always very good for people to know who you are, identify with you more. That's why I had to change your name. Okay. Which means I said the name Crusader. Well, Crusader is okay. It's okay. We call you Crusader and know where you're coming from. Okay. Because mostly, <laughs> mostly people in the movie industry and in the entertainment world call me Crusader. Oh. Uh, Crusader, you are here today to talk to us about your movie, uh, The Con Consort. Consort. Yeah, so what do you have to say about that movie, The Consort? Mm. First of all, some people ask me who, why the name consort. Consort is simply yes, a word, I was to come to that. It's simply a word that means wife or companion. Okay. You know, and mm, it's just a movie. First of all, let me talk about clear pictures. Sorry to clear pictures in general. It's a production. Let me say level. Okay. That were out to do very educative movies, possibly short, okay. for public consumption, especially for the fact that many people are complaining that they really can't uh, find Cameroonian movies and all my fans actually were so bitter that I do I do movies but they don't watch them, what's happening. Okay. So I decided to come up with a platform and we already have more than 20 movies scripted that will be releasing one one every month for public consumption. So wow. we thought it wise to come up with this story that has to do with, you know, a certain slay queen trying to derail a married man, you know, trying to make a married man cheat on his wife and at the end of the day, well, you can just click on YouTube and you watch more what happened at the end. Okay, so what role did you play in the movie? Mm, I was the husband, Matt. I interpreted the role of Matt. Okay. Apart from as an actor, what other role did you play in the, in the same movie? Oh, I'm the producer of Consort. Okay. I'm the producer and one of the executive producers. The co my co-executive producer is a brown brownish. Okay. Okay, um, like, like you just said about the storyline, we have gotten the storyline already for the movie concert, and I believe that if we, if we have the, t uh, since there's no trailer, uh, we have an excerpt of that movie, or we, we're going to have it on our screen, so that we can all have an idea what this movie is all about, and when we come back, we'll get more from Crusader. Let's have it there. the world was void of honorable and principled men. <laughs> I guess I just found one today. That's an idea of the movie at uh, the concert. So, if you want to watch the full uh, or the complete vision of that film, you'll be telling on how we can get uh, the full movie. Of course. Definitely. So, how do people have access to the movie? Is the movie available in the market? 
Uh, yes, it's actually available in your phones already. So just go to YouTube and search on Clear Pictures. C L E Pictures. Clear okay. Pictures. So what the concept of short films? What the, con what the concept? You know, short films normally go viral than feature films. You agree with me? Because um, you, someone can easily watch the content of say 10 minutes, below 10 minutes with the phone compared okay. to a movie of one hour or something. And again, uh, short films are easily realized than feature movies. Okay. So uh, in general, they are low cost projects? Mm, will I even say low cost? Come on, there are some short films that will cost more than like this film. <laughs> You'll be surprised of, uh, at how much we, we spent to realize this movie. <laughs> did you spend up to two million? <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we did spend so much. Wow, wow. that's good. At least from the quality, from what I'm seeing on the screen, it shows that uh, the film is really powerful. It is. Wow. Trust me, uh, if you watch the whole movie, you will believe what I'm talking about. I, I must say, uh, congratulations, Chris. Thank you so much. So, uh, if you want to watch the full movie, like we did said, it's very simple. You have it already in your, right in front of your mobile phone. So, why not just go to YouTube and you search for Clay Picture, like you said, it's C L E Pictures, and you search, you have the movie concert. And don't forget to watch, share. I want to share it with your friends or comment to let us know what you think about uh, about the movie. So, Cruz, uh, any future projects? Yes, of course. We have so many projects because uh, Clear Pictures is going to to run for the rest of <laughs> you know rest of rest of the years every human being has on earth because it's wow. a whole company. And even if I'm not available tomorrow, the vision will continue. So for now, uh, immediately after the lockdown, we'll be doing a, a series titled Njangi. It's actually a sitcom. A series, okay. Yes. So we're going to shoot the first 10 episodes immediately after the lockdown and edited and maybe every after two days or every after one week, and each episode will be available on uh, the, the YouTube channel. Okay, the same music, the clear pictures. Well, it's uh, clear pictures in collaboration with Rufina's House and CG Entertainment. So they are going to be, it's going to be available on all the three platforms? Or how do you no, need to do it? it? Be available only, that's uh, clear pictures who have the exclusive rights to, okay, broadcast, to broadcast it on it. YouTube, while um, Rufina's House will then send it to other platforms. Okay, uh, that's good to know that um, we are doing uh, actually a great job out there to promote the Cameroon film industry. So, uh, Cruz, yeah. um, is Clear Pictures open for people like, is it like a company that trains other people or, or is, I don't, we just a, a level that just did production? Well, oh, really? I would rather like to put it this way uh, Clear Pictures is available to help upcomers. Okay. Actors, actresses, crew members realize their dreams or let me say you act like some sort of an internship for people who wish to join the film industry because uh, there are many people out there who want to do film but they don't really know where to go to. So okay. uh, of course there are so many production houses in Bamenda and Cameroon in general that, that, that train actors and, and, and crew members. So it would just be okay that when they are done I can definitely always tap from those resources. Okay, which means uh, you are not to, into training? No, I'm not training anybody. Okay, you are just a level where... I just call people, I work with you, you leave, and I leave. <laughs> Very important. Uh, that is, uh, I think that's the best way uh, that we we have to help the industry. So that, uh, instead of uh, like uh, keeping someone which, uh, like you're the sole provider of that person, at least it's going to delay that person's career. But if you allow the person to open for other people to have access to, then I believe that person can easily grow within time. And that is how the industry we are uh, involved within a very short time. So, Chris, any contact that someone maybe watching right now can get to you? Oh, uh, you can get to us on uh, YouTube, by the way, our uh, contact is on YouTube. Okay. Clear Pictures, oh, show the number 675-42. I'd like you to just get a pen so I can take the number again. If you're watching right now, you're watching uh, 30 Minutes with Stars. He is about giving you a telephone number, which is very important because I know you watching right now, you have been asking yourself questions on how you can become an actor or you want to act. You really have that passion and you're looking for someone that can help you. Why not pick up your pen and take the number 675? It's actually on the screen already. 675 4297 Or you can get to us on Clear Pictures 1. 
at gmail.com. Okay, that's the email? Yeah, clearly and, just one at and, gmail.com. And on Facebook? No, Facebook, no. We don't find out if we're going to create a YouTube Okay, no, no, no social media page. for now? No. But just at least you can get to you on your name? Just YouTube. Okay, just YouTube. Yeah, but you can also get to me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, just as Uni Elvis. That's all. As Uni Elvis, no crusader. No, <laughs> so, no crusader. Just, just take it away, it is as Uni yes. Elvis. Um, as Uni, thank you so much for coming. Oh, thank you so much for having me, Tobo. And of course, I'm also available when you, when you need me. <laughs> it's a pleasure. So, what food do you like to pick on my table? Uh, banana, brother, you know? <laughs> <laughs> banana, please. Uh, please. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. But uh, before you go, I would still like us to have uh, an episode of the movie again, the concert. Okay, maybe 30 minutes. Uh, 30, 30 seconds. seconds. Let's enjoy it together. <laughs> yes, let's enjoy it together. <laughs> Fair enough. And uh, can you give anything to make a man? How do you mean? You look at me and find me attractive. Yet you. You are still uh, on 30 minute with stars. Uh, like we said, if you want to be guests on the program, why not call us right now and be guests on the program? Because we in this program, we receive everybody here. Yeah? If you're an entrepreneur, uh, you can be part of it. Uh, if, you're, if you're a pastor, uh, any, fee, any work of life, you can just be part of it. Just get to us and you'll be next on, on our list to be guests on our program. Uh, right now, we are going to take it to our job opportunity. And uh, she's right here standing by to give us the latest job opportunity in town, uh, what is happening and uh, where you can easily apply it, how you can get yourself an opportunity. And she's right here with us. Good afternoon, madam. Good afternoon, Tomo. How are you doing, Yvette? I'm great, obviously. <laughs> well, I, I don't want to ask you how I was just today. <laughs> Okay, I understand. Uh, because I definitely I know you, you did enjoy it and <laughs> he always brought something good. Yeah, obviously. But uh, maybe I just want to drop the the text you had today in church. Yeah, That's just just from first somewhere thirty verse sixteen. Okay. Just read that and you find out. Not that, uh, well, those people don't know, but maybe <laughs> let me just give you some few seconds so you tell us is, uh, okay. what I was talking about. Okay, they were they were actually talking about um encourage yourself in the Lord. Yes, I'm sure when, when, when our next guest will be up, she will tell us more as far as that is concerned. Miss Christian, okay. from the, uh, so but, uh, the topic, that was just the theme for today. Encourage yourself in the Lord. You want to find out more, you, you look at first somewhere, 30 verse 6. So what package do you have for us today? Okay, um, the very first opportunity we have, uh, this one is from City, City First Credit Union, that's in search for branch operators, actually, and they are in need of two heads of agencies, two assistant agency heads, two uh, front desk clerks, three cashiers, five daily collector agents, and three commercial agents. And if you're interested in this opportunity, you can submit your application or your CV, your cover letter to the Bonamusa de branch that's open from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. daily, okay? And this is how you apply. If you want to apply for this job, you can go to the agency that's in Bonamusa de agency as from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Mondays to Friday. That's City First Credit Union Cooperative with Board of Directors located in uh, in Bonamusa de, okay? That's on the first floor of the SCI Silik, uh, Salikmi uh, 
um, San, San, uh, San, Santa Don. I think every, all, every information as far as that job is concerned is on your screens already. And the second one we have here is actually a company that's in need of two, an accountant secretary and a researcher with project writing skills. And this, uh, they are actually looking for an accountant. Uh, I'm sure we are oh, we're going to be having details of that on the screen. An accountant with perfect computer skills and professional experience. And equally, you should be a researcher with knowledge in writing and managing projects. Okay, and the location is still Dwala, so you can actually send your your CV or your cover letter to the email to the email info at savage savages dot com. That's the information we have on the screen. So you might want to contact uh, the manager in charge of that opportunity. And the next one we have here from. Um, this company they are looking for two young accountants okay if you're an accountant you might want to grab this opportunity and you must have a baccalaureate plus two or baccalaureate plus three the qualities you must be rigorous when we talk about rigorous you must be strong you must be healthy you must be that's full of energy okay for this position and you, you must be integrated too you must be honest you must be bilingual okay and the location we are they are located at Douala or in an Yaoundé and interested interested persons can send their resumes to we have that email on the screen that's um info chip chipeti i am chipeti that's it on the screen thank you very much for that and uh the next opportunity we are having here they are actually in need of uh, supermarket workers supermarket workers and the companies uh actually called Umbe Sal and they're actually seeking for the services of four supermarket workers to work within the supermarket located at Karifu Hort Tension, the BD. And the, 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 the interested person should possess the following qualities. But they should be a, a holder in BA, BAPC, Propertoire or back or series, be at least 18 years old and 35 years old at most, must be healthy, but must be of good character, must be fully available. Application forms of to 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 get this job can equally be addressed to the manager of the company, and that's you address. That's how you address your 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 application letter. You address it to the manager of the company, okay? And you can submit it to the human resource department that's located in BD. BD, okay, that, yeah, that's the name on the screen in BD, not later than the 31st of September. That's you have the end of this month to drop in your applications or via their email, which is equally on the screen. And the, the, the application envelope should contain the following documents you have your cover, your, your cover letter, obviously, you have a, a detailed curriculum vitae, you have a photocopy of your national identity card. And a location plan, okay. And if you might want to get them on phone, you call the number six nine eight three five one nine one three six five six. Sorry, that's the number you have on the screen. And uh, the last opportunity we will bring to you today is from a microfinance institution that's located in Yaoundé, and they are actually in need of marketers and marketing managers. Uh, they, they, they actually require people who should be between the ages of 27 to 35 years, okay? And you, a big, a male or a female, obviously, must be a Korean. And your level of study, you, you must have a baccalaureate. And technical students have a greater uh, opening uh, today. Opening today, yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> you might want to grab this opportunity, actually. And for your professional experience, you must have one year six months minimum okay in that in that uh, say in the same in the similar position okay. and you must physically be presentable and good in speech obviously wow so packaging in this job will actually matter <laughs> <laughs> okay and you must equally have an open mind and be able to work in a team you know For some sure. people really don't know how to work sure, in a team. Sure. team spirit is not there okay so you might want to build up your team spirit skills anytime soon so you might be able to grab this opportunity and equally you must be curious and rigorous same goes with the other jobs in that you must be healthy and physically fit and the composition for this file should con uh, it should have a request addressed to the director general that's how you're going to address the file that you'll be sending to to uh, to the director general and equally you should have your cv therein and your location uh, location plan 
and your highest degree. That's all your acquired certificates. You make the, you include them in your file so that you can be able to grab this opportunity. And to post the resisting, I really want to encourage this attitude because you know uh -huh. sometimes when people hear about opportunities, they really start feeling like okay, maybe I'm not up to the task. And uh -huh, they uh -huh. never they never give it a try. <laughs> and they forget to know that sometimes you find yourself in a place where they will ask for something like work experience, uh -huh. and then that's where you get all stuck. So always try to grab this opportunity when you have the even, chance to. Even if it means working for free. Of course, <laughs> of course. <laughs> you just get, sometimes it's even the voluntary service that gets that gets you the opening that you and ever that's want true. in this life. I, I, I can actually assure you that. I mean, I have a lot of friends to do who are where they are. I have friends who are working with doctors without borders who uh -huh. got that opportunity just because they were offering services for, for institutions free. for free. You see. So you might want so, to really uh, consider that too. Well, uh, mm -hmm. thank you so much for the job opportunity, event. Uh, like, uh, like Uncle Ne, we, we say that's Tata nursing from the job opportunity because he, he's somebody, is he, very good in advising people. He always advised that you never give anybody someone, never give any, anybody money for any job opportunity because uh, you need job employer, they don't ask for money okay. because, you know, there are a lot of scams. Okay. Uh, yes, there's a lot of person that goes on Facebook, on WhatsApp, on, and, and give fake messages that uh, do job, recruit, um, we could make stuff like that and at the end of the day we caught the number the next thing i'm telling you is uh that uh yeah you have to do send this yeah. money to my money <laughs> so, <laughs> and more money to has come to spoil you so for you sure want to watch out to as far as i mean depositing money here and there for a job is concerned That's uh, uh just to let you know that uh, uh job corner with evet uh we will make sure we verify all the job opportunities and make sure they are all clean and genuine so that uh, you should not fall a victim so if, if you're watching us right now uh why not always tune to us every sunday so you should be able to get the latest job opportunity or why not if you have someone that is not watching because maybe they don't have star tv or maybe they don't have access to the channel why not send that person to our youtube channel uh top entertainment empire where the video will be yours so they can always watch at your convenience time please don't forget it's job corner and you always make sure you apply on time am i correct yeah <laughs> i mean deadlines are there so you might want to meet up with your deadline too even though sometimes uh talking about deadline, let me just chip this in before we run with the session okay uh, when we talk about deadline sometimes when an opportunity comes to you and it, you, you discover that the deadline has passed already i advise you still deposit for sure yeah because sometimes when the deadline part the de deadline passes they, they will not go back to do another communicate like they've extended it not all companies do that uh -huh. but then it's still open okay so just deposit wow well, i'm just learning something just new <laughs> yeah <laughs> thank you so much okay <laughs> so um what do you have for my table let me get this up so that i can see this <laughs> <laughs> okay you gave me i'll have um i'll have palaji today Oh, Fallaj yeah. today. Yeah. <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> so the quality of Fallaj has never changed since I knew so it. I'm giving it to you. That's my best biscuit. Oh, <laughs> I don't, I, I don't eat any other biscuit. Ah, really? Yes. Not even cabin. Mm, no, cabin is for children. Actually, <laughs> I, I used to eat cabin when I was in uh, boarding school. When I'm going out for, you know, they always package my back and oh, say, so, oh, you see the journal. <laughs> That they give you a cabbage okay, biscuit. Okay. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, you are still on 30 minutes with stars. And if you miss this edition of the program uh, live, then the rebroadcast is yours every Monday as from 8 30. Uh, we are sorry to let you know we'll be bringing it to you not 8 a.m. again on Mondays, but this time around. 8.30 is going to be us uh, due to some latest adjustment, I believe, uh, is from your request. You uh, made a few requests that the time should be changed, so uh, that's why we are respecting the time to make sure you always enjoy it at your own community because 30 minutes for star is for everybody. Huh? Obviously. Yeah, uh, so before you go, I would like us to take this art film of, uh, of a program that is uh, the premiere. Once we have that program, then I'll come back with the last guest.
I believe uh, most of us have been waiting for this point of time. But let me just let you know that you are still watching 30 Minutes with Stars. And we come up every Sunday. Uh, right now, I'll be taking you to uh, the surprise package for you. Uh, that is a Miss, the Miss Christian Evangel. Yeah, the, yeah, something like that Miss Christian coming on. So uh, we'll be having her right away. As I guess uh, she is. Uh, I just call her Lady Hat. So she'll be telling us about maybe how the details about her. Huh? So right now, I think Lady Hat. Good afternoon, Lady Hat. Good afternoon, Prince How are you doing? I'm okay. I'm fine. Uh, your voice doesn't sound okay. Well, it's just light cough and a little bit of stress in oh, church today. So sorry about that. So was church. It was glorious. Oh, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I like. I, I love that way. It was glorious. Yeah. Oh my God. Um, I'm seeing something beautiful in your head. Ah, okay. <laughs> so can you tell us about it? All right. This is um. This is the crown that I got as um. Evangelical Queen Cameroon. That was. Made on last Sunday. Okay. In Boya. Okay. So, uh, what are you passionate about as a Miss Cameroon or Miss Christian? Evangelical Queen, please. Evangelical Queen? Yes, because that's actually Miss Christian. Okay. It's not me, so don't mix it up. So, what pushed you to uh, go into that content? Well, actually, I'm first of all the person that I'm very passionate about um, women. Okay. what they do, how their values, youth, their values, their potentials, and for them to always meet up with the maximum of everything they have to do. Okay. When I get to see people live beneath their potentials, it annoys me a lot. So I went in for this to actually prove out to some people, like in the field of modeling, they'll get to see that the modeling, the model, you're supposed to strip naked, you're supposed to do this, you're supposed to do that. But there are values that you can always achieve as a woman without necessarily selling out yourself naked. Okay. So, uh, so can you tell us about the concept of Miss Christian Evangelical Cameroon? Okay. Firstly, the Miss Christian Cameroon contest was organized to actually pick out youth, women, well, let me say ladies that are willing to impact the society. Okay. Women that are willing to effect change in our time. Okay. So, uh, how was the competition for you? It was very challenging. <laughs> Indeed, it was a competition because uh, auditions were done in all the 10 regions of Cameroon. Fortunately, just two of us made it from the Northwest. And fortunately, I was crowned Evangelical Queen from Northwest. Okay, so now, so now that you are the uh, Miss Christian Evangelical Queen Cameroon, uh, so to you, what does that mean to you? This means a whole lot, like, I can actually say this is one of my greatest achievements this year. My greatest achievements in the sense that I've always been looking for an opportunity because... <laughs> I'm into showbiz. Uh -huh. I'm not just a model, but I use the various different mediums that I have to make sure that I reach out to the people with the truth, like the gospel of truth, like I always call it. So this one just hit a platform like um, a jackpot for me to okay. be able to have access because I really want access to any part of the country that I want. So it's really big for me. And wow. this is my work. Okay, so um, now, now, now that you have the opportunity on um, 30 minutes with stars to talk to some girls, that um, uh, if, I, if I'm giving the opportunity now to talk to girls, that's in your capacity as Miss Kristen Evangelical Queen uh, Cameroon, what do you tell them? Uh, first of all, I'll tell them that every woman has a man inside. Every woman has a man inside. The reason why we, we, we really we are being regarded less of who we are is because we have not yet come to the point where we actually realize that there is virtue inside every woman. But yet, because we are being known as the weaker vessels, we need mm -hmm. to just be called the weaker vessels right from creation. But that is not all about it. We are sinners help us. So the world needs us. And they don't need, they don't need um, liabilities. Sure. They need assets. Sure. That is just what I will tell them. Uh, so, uh, any, any project for your community? Yes. Um, in December, that's the, this one is kind of a little bit long run. I'm organizing a women empowerment conference in December called the Dunamis 
Women Empowerment Conference. Well, actually, be I really want to to say everything about the program now, but uh -huh. it's really going to be loaded with a whole lot of things that it's not just for women. I really encourage every person because before doing this, I did a community project. I titled Better Women for a Better Community. So I'll be doing this to let us know that for our nation, for our community to receive a change, it needs to start from us. It needs to start from the women because we are much more populated than the men. So if the community is made up of more women and we expect change from the people, they should start from us. Okay, so um, Nadia, Miss Kristen, and cover co the fact that you are based in Bavenda. How, how effective is that going to be? Uh, maybe for you to cover the whole of Cameroon. Okay, I'm based in Bavenda. That's always a starting point. So I'll first of all start by picking up Bavenda, then I'll stretch out to the other parts of the country. But for the the conference, it's going to be here in Bavenda Congress Hall. So your main target right now is Bavenda. Yes. Congress Hall. Yes. Well, if you are targeting Congress Hall, then I can imagine the population that you are expecting to have in the hall. Yes. Yeah. So is, is this program going to benefit only the women? No. Like I said, it's not just for the women. Okay. It's not just for the women, but I'm targeting the center of the community, which are women. Okay. So you're a man. Of course, you get married. Or maybe you're married. I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm single. Okay. I'm very single. I'm hopeful. You can say your application on the number of the screen. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah. All right. So, like you said, they should send applications. So, well, actually, I have this conference. I'll be talking about who you should send applications to and who you should not. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to see a complaint against me no, now? No, I'm just saying. <laughs> okay, you just want to let them know that um, you know, they actually have to know what they are going in for. Yes. For sure. No, it's, it's very important, even uh, in relationship, it's, it's very important for you to know uh, somebody before you get into a relationship. You don't just get into a relationship because of excitement and tomorrow you have uh, difficulties in, in it and you start regretting that, oh my God, had I known, so stuff like that. It's always very important to prepare your mind. Yeah, yeah, right. right. yeah because I, right. I, I had this inspiration from my girl that uh, she actually pushed me to come out with a book actually uh, with two time I'm going to be presenting the book to you uh, love is a choice in that book actually uh, love is a choice uh, I was trying to explain to people because some people think that falling in love actually is, uh, is, is something I have to grow in you yeah it's true love do grow right yeah, but right. but you actually decide to love okay. yes if you don't decide to love the love will never grow in your heart I don't know if you know that. Yeah, by the point, because it all starts from the mind. It starts from the mind. And you it's choose right. who to love. Yeah. <laughs> who to apply to. <laughs> who to apply to. And who not to accept the application. Uh, Miss Christa, I don't, can, can I share a call with you? Of course. Seriously? Yeah. Wow. wow. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Let me see. I'm going to look at this beautiful. Wow. I've no, I've, I've no idea. <laughs> How do I look? How do I look? Wow. Wow, just imagine uh, Prince Thomas Cedric as uh, Mr. Christian. Oh, <laughs> wow, I, I really wish next year the organizer can organize uh, a contest for Mr. Uh, Mr. Christian coming. So like, I'll just come out and. Mm? <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> wow. Thanks so much for coming. Okay. Um, so, as uh, Miss Christian, what do you take from the table? Okay, bananas. Bananas. <laughs> okay, wow. <laughs> Thanks so much. Thank you. Uh, but before you go, I would like you to uh, I'll accompany you with this uh, beautiful track by uh, John uh, Perford. Yeah, still by John Perford. And then mm -hmm. you can okay. enjoy it. Thank you. If I give you money, you must give me my If I give you money, you must give me my If I give you money, you must give me my If I give you money, you must give me my We go, they 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 go, they
Oh, JJ, JJ love that's a JJ master. If I give you money, then you must be my JJ. <laughs> I don't know what actually that means. Uh, we, uh, next week is, is going to be guests on this program. Uh, 30 minutes with stars. Uh, God willing, uh, he, he will be with us in the studio. And if we don't have him, then uh, we, we are going to broadcast live from Dubai. Eh? So uh, if, if, if you're still watching, then don't forget that next week we have a special package for you. We have just announced that uh, John Payford is going to be guest on the program. Uh, I want to take this time to thank you very much for uh, following us 30 minutes with stars our star tv uh, i want to thank you so much again because i believe that you are always there and for those of you watching us uh from facebook or from youtube we want to say thank you so much for sacrificing your data to watch us at this time we are here because you are and without you then there's no need for this program because this program is for you uh just just let you know some some person request that uh, the program 30 minute with stars the name should be changed but uh, we just want to get your opinion what you think if you're watching the program right now i'd like you to drop us an sms on the telephone number 675-267511 anytime within the week you can drop even now you can drop us the sms just let us know that uh, you're watching the program and you like the name to change or the name to be maintained 30 minutes with stars. Just to briefly get a concept of this pro uh, uh, of this TV program. This program aims to um, to expose our talent and to expose our uh, business person, entrepreneur, uh, pastors. If you have anything special, yeah, anything that you have that is so unique about it, even what you are doing, that other person that doing it. If you want to advertise, what do you have to show to the public? And then 30 minutes with stars is yours. Huh? And we come up every Sunday. So uh, right away, thank you and God willing, see you uh, next Sunday. Same time, same place. Eh? Bye bye. JJ Master. I like the way you play, baby. You are the girl I need. Oh baby, you are the girl for me. Fine baby, you are the girl I love. I fall in love with you when you carry your moko. When I when I baby, the way you the wine a baby. You the make the boys and the cool The way you the wine a baby. You the make all the boys and the come and they want you to spend all the money. You the make all the boys and the come and they want you to spend all the money. But the way you just the wine, you make me scream aloud. I'm scared my loud, oh baby Now that way you need shake and they make me want to break my phone Go away, go away If I give you money